Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our no shot run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without shooting a single shot or using any form of explosives, including heavy weapons of course. I've already prepared the team that I wanted to, uh, to use in order to defeat the um, Archon King. We're going to go in with uh, two rangers, Hagbite himself, Edgar Allan Poe, to keep the guy in place. And that's pretty much it. Got the Assassin's Weapon, got the Alien DLC Weapon, and we got a pretty nice uh, setup of three Mimic Beacons four uh, mind shields, enough healing, we should be good to go. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. Sky uh. Ranger recall confirmed. Let me redo that real quick. Deployed. All right, second attempt. Squad green to deploy. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're on a non-timed mission, and we know that we're fighting against one of the most dangerous aliens, uh, the Archon King. Agreed. So we are better careful. Feet. Hop feet. hail up, and quick feet will be our front line. Great As always, planning. we're going to keep kind of uh, the others a tiny bit back, Solid copy. mainly because uh, that way we're we'll do. not going to trigger a, re a reaction from the alien go, ruler go, go. in case it happens. We got stasis here and plenty of other abilities. Absolutely loved playing with a PsyOps um, in a mission before the final mission. Kind of gives it a little bit more, shall I say, variety. And now that he has all of the abilities, Damn. it just makes it so much fun. Enemy squad located. Look at that. We got ourselves quite a few targets. Halop over here. Aye, aye. And Edgar Alien Poe, I mean, for now, let's just place him there. Mind controlling one of these guys, I think, would be fun. All right, so far, none of them are moving, so might as well give it a go. And start kicking off in good old fashion. How about we're attacking like from here? Oh, that looks like a pretty Decent opening. Going to hit three. Uh, we're probably going to have at least um, one blade storm attack because uh, that guy here is very likely going to just move through our field. This variation of the archon must surely be the modified subject Dr. Valen had been experimenting on. Hello there. Just the guy that I was looking for. We've got a chance to take this thing down once and for all, Commander. Let's get it done. Okay. We're going to get it done. Rest assured, we are going to get it done. Hey protocol. to think in terms of using stasis and yeah, we'll probably save that can we hit hogbite theoretically yeah we could 
if he moves further back, that is. So, let me think that through. I mean, we could charge in somewhere along the lines of just basically going to here. And then we had two blade storms to work with. That would be dope. I like the idea. I think we're going to go with it. That would be a good idea. Because moving back might move uh, the Archon King, but maybe he's just going to use his ranged abilities. And a white drawn out uh, battle uh, field is not necessarily a disad uh, disadvantage for us. All right, ruler reaction moves up, double blade storm. Fantastic. It's trying to grab one of our people. Don't let it take them. All right. It would be perfect if we could. Hit it with um, a stasis because then Halo would just fall down. Difficult to do that without seeing him. All right, so this should not trigger. Halo could be stasis. It is. If you think about it, it's actually hilarious. Let's try that. This Halo will not uh, take any damage then. Okay, cool. That worked out quite well. Let's take it. Just a quick haywire protocol here. Fifty fifty to take it over. Absolutely. That'll give us just one more target that the Archon King Where can work with. Problem solved so far. Now, how about the Archon King himself? May I my may I ask you a question? Oh yeah, that was good. He has started to burn. Reactions don't trigger reactions. So we're good. We could throw the Mimic Beacon now. Or alternatively do what I wanted to do beforehand, which is... Make the Archon's life a living hell. It will need to go down first. Oh, look at that. We have nothing to fear. Uh, 
So he would get untouchable and implaceable by killing. Do we really need a Mimic Beacon is the question. Probably not. This guy is out of commission. This guy is out of commission. He will just use his shield. Uh, so might as well kill. Therefore get untouchable. Okay. Didn't even trigger. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to parry. We can parry that. We can parry that and we're just going to end the turn. Because we're immune, uh, we got the stasis shield around us, which further contributes to the immunity. Oh, I see how it is. All right, well, it was fun while it lasted. I think we got to move out of the explosion range. Everything else would be a bit suicidal. That at least triggered uh, another hit. Shield removed, burning. All right. Could theoretically deal with the Archon King. Let's first of all heal up without uh, any repercussions. I would want to take up that um, extra. Uh, force here but that would trigger another reaction and I really don't want that to happen instead we're continuing to go and deal a lot of damage Slowly but surely taking a lot of damage. Now also uh, being disoriented certainly doesn't help him. This on the other uh, hand will hurt because I don't have any counter for him pulling, uh, pulling this guy up other than using combat protocol to deal some more damage so he will flee afterwards and by now slamming him down he'll also trigger blade storm at least once He's definitely in range to flee. He 
Nullands to deal the maximum amount of damage that we can uh, to it. It's disoriented, so I'm not sure if it really can summon a gate at this point. Disoriented and burning. Yeah, by moving there, unfortunately, Bladestorm, I think, did not trigger. But we can certainly hit this guy really good. One more time. So he's down to far less than half hit points. Not optimal, but I guess an okay fight. In terms of damage it was moderate i mean all you need to do is basically injure it when he was trying to pull someone up and the only real damage was his his version of blazing pinions shit happens at no point was he kind of close to killing any of our soldiers Good. We're seeing a couple of mechanical units to be expected, to be honest. Alright, we got, if I'm not mistaken, we still got Comet Protocol. Yeah, it didn't really... Didn't really work out. Moving up. Only damage the armor. Solid copy. And let's move to here. Shouldn't trigger anything. The tower will shoot into parry. Or not, maybe the tower will obey our commands and be our next slave. Not really because we can't shoot with it, but it will at least not shoot back. Go, go, go. Good, moving up. I think there's still a sake to pot around here somehow, uh, somewhere. Let's shortly summon a ghost. That could be a perfect scout. Also another source of blade storm. Yeah, I'm a bit miffed about uh, the fact that the Archon uh, got away. Really was trying to nail him down. Should have probably not used 
the stasis so early. Alright. Pretty sure there's only one pack left. And that's most likely... Well, never mind. Maybe there is more than one pack left. We've got Advent here. Watch the flanks! We actually got flanked. Interesting. Good. We're getting this guy down. Hog bite. It's gonna hit the purifier. We are moving up. And let's kill the heavy mech. Good, mech is being taken care of. And we could uh, use a pretty disposable second source of blade storm whilst getting everybody else kind of in position. Ghost has lost some hit points, but that really doesn't matter. I can do that. Moving up. Heading out. Moving up. On the move. And we're moving up as well. Copy that. Good. Finally, the ghost begins to move to here. Good. I stand corrected. There was another pack. Start to move in. Post moves right in front. Quick feet moves Roll up out. there. Copy that. And everybody else is taking solid cover. On my way. <gasps> yep, as I thought. Some uh, someone or something is in there, and I would I would almost take a bet that that someone is standing here, and that it is a sector pod. Let's take a look. Well, it was not a sector pod, but I guess I'll get credit for at least guessing its location. Okay, that's quite a few. I think it's a perfect uh, moment in time to attack, kill a few of them. 
and uh, start parry. Besides, just for shits and giggles. Bike can move in. Get a two for one out of it. And even get some extra focus out of it. Fantastic. Alright, this here is Implaceable plus Untouchable. The Untouchable part is important because I want to make sure if an explosion happens that we're not getting injured. Moving all the way over there. Yeah, we're not really untouchable, which is a bit of a problem. to here a protocol and we're going to use a mimic beacon Probably not going to kill this, um, the gatekeeper, but we'll be close. At least that's what I would guess. Alright, Jammer moves over here. The eyeball will take three blade storms. And that's how fast the mimic beacon can quite literally disappear. Nice. Uh, they just disarmed their own crew. Fantastic. All right, moving up. That's a solid hit. start hitting this guy like a little bit harder Hawkbite fills up his focus perfect Cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move to here. This would kill the eyeball. We don't want to do that because it would deal damage to us. So we're proactively putting a stasis on it. And we're ending the turn. Halop moves a bit away. Hawkbite moves a bit away. J 
Just out of curiosity, 28% for domination. Okay, fair enough. Your existence is null. Good, this here should almost kill it. And we can sacrifice our beloved uh, ghost in order to finally kill it. Oh, no. And the ghost doesn't even die. Cool. How fortunate. Good to go. Aye, aye. Moving up. Moving out. And we're good to go. End of turn. There is technically another pack somewhere. Well, we have all that we came for, at least as far as I'm concerned, so we don't need to deal with another pack. Let's instead call, uh, call for an evac. And get the hell out of here. Good. Bomb. 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 I will sense any disturbance. Gone. And gone. Ready to boogie. Menace one five. The lonely ghost of Hogbite waited until the last minute before the massive C4 explosion destroyed everything. So yeah, it was a a lonely tower that was left somewhere and we just landed good mission your team did a commendable job in destroying the aliens we got Commander. two blips out of the, the avatar bar project. but even more importantly so we halfway killed the, the archon which was a good start I don't really need to heal. Avenger we really don't need four. anything at this point. Wait, wait, wait. Why do we only have 16 out of 17 contacts? Did we lose contact to some uh, someone? No. Because... Ah, no, because of course it's only 16 regions. Well, and that brings us to... A bonus guerrilla operation, hidden event uh, for a recovery. That looks like an interesting mission. Or alternatively, uh, we're probably going to. We're probably going to scratch this one here. The hunter is potentially here, or here, very likely here. This is only difficult and nine enemies it smells like uh, mm, the Archon King is there. The yeah, laboratory improving ground really are not doing anything at this point. And that's a bit of an issue because we really don't have much to do there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment anyways it brings us to the end of uh, this mission very soon these uh, few inter uh, interruptions will hopefully come to an end uh, our main plot or our main story is still to get the psi operative uh, training so that we can kill the hunter I don't want to deal with a melee immune hunter oh, it's just not going to fly for me uh, so we're definitely going to um we're definitely going to have the psi operatives here uh, mm, 
and they need to train a little bit more. The hunter probably will last one more month before um, we actually got to engage with uh, him. So next month uh, still should be fine. Not sure if that's enough time to really get some solid additional Psy operatives going, but we will see what kind of abilities they are getting. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, leave a comment down below and uh, like the video. Thank you. Bye bye.